Welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a Cochrane's Q-Test uh, using R, specifically RStudio. In a separate video I'll go over the postdoc test for these, but for now just the test in itself. Um, I'll be using some example uh, data that I stored in a CSV file, so I'll first load that in. Here's the command uh, that you need to enter for something like that. Uh, Control enter will load it in the console and just so you see what I'm working with there's a respondent number uh, so a unique number somewhere then uh, the movies people in Amsterdam might have visited this is all fake data by the way uh, a one indicated that they visited for example the moon and this zero indicated that they uh, this person didn't visit the movies and I'm curious to see if people visited any of these more often than the others so the Cochrane's Q-Test, you can either use the non-power, which is probably short for non-parametric package, or you could use the RVA de Demoire or something like that, not sure how to pronounce it. I'll first show you the non-power version. Uh, install it if you don't have it already, press Ctrl Enter on this to install it. Then load it of course in memory, so I'll be doing that, I already downloaded it. It requires a matrix form, so I'm going to be using C bind and then the four variables in my case of interest as a matrix. And then the Q test can be performed simply by running Cochrane's.q and then my matrix. Now in the results, we can see uh, the Q value, the degrees of freedom, and the p value or significance uh, level is far below the 0.05 which is a usual threshold and there's enough evidence to conclude that the effectiveness of at least two treatments differ so probably two cinemas were at least two cinemas were visited more frequently than the other um, if you use the RV de Moir or RV de well I have no clue uh, load it in and what this one requires is a long version of your data so uh, what that means is uh, that you actually need for respondent one i will need one two three four entries because uh, i need one and then for the moon and then the score one then the movies and then the score one to shinsky and then the score and then one and arena and its score so you can do that by using mydata.long and that's the new name for it then the function reshape my data varying and then as vector those four variables or how many you have uh, i'm going to be giving it the name score the time variable is cinema uh, times and then the four names again uh, new dot rows names just one till a thousand should be enough and then direction long that should give me now a long version of my data I'll show you what that looks like uh, here we go I'll sort it by respondent and now you can see that indeed respondent one has nicely four entries uh, didn't visit any of them and that's all we need then we can perform Cochrane's Q test score by cinema uh, using a respondent and then data is my data long and if I now press Ctrl enter I should eventually get the same result as you can see 19.3846 3 degrees of freedom and again 0.0002276 which was the same as we had up here uh, 76, 76 so it's uh, slightly more rounded in, like I mentioned, in another video we'll go over the postdoc test, but that's it for now.